In December 1894, the sixth annual Pennsylvania Music Teachers Association Convention ended with a massed choir of 250 Harrisburg area singers. The concert sparked the desire of singers in the region to create a permanent chorus for the community. A committee was assembled, and in January 1895, the Harrisburg Choral Society was formed. The Reverend George S. Chambers of Pine Street Presbyterian Church was made the Society's first president. David Crozier, a musician with Market Square Presbyterian Church, was the first accompanist, and the Society appointed William Wallace Gilchrist as its first musical director. William Gilchrist was born in New Jersey in 1846 and grew up and studied music in Philadelphia. He was a composer, singer, and conductor in many roles in Philadelphia and the surrounding region. He founded and led many ensembles in Philadelphia, including the Mendelssohn Club of Philadelphia, the Choral Society of Germantown, the West Philadelphia Choral Society, the Tuesday Club of Wilmington, Delaware, and the Symphony Society of Philadelphia, which would become a founding part of the Philadelphia Orchestra. He was a founding member of the American Guild of Organists and head of voice instruction at the Philadelphia Musical Academy. When Gilchrist attended the Music Teachers Convention in 1894, he was asked if he would be willing to lead the planned choral society, and he agreed. He would travel weekly by train from his Philadelphia home to rehearse the ensemble in preparation for its debut performance. On May 16, 1895, the society performed Mendelssohn's Elijah accompanied by a 30-piece orchestra to a standing room only audience in the Harrisburg Opera House. Dr. Gilchrist would remain the Choral Society's music director for the next 18 years, the second longest tenured director of the ensemble. During that time, the society became a central part of the musical culture of the city, performing large-scale works in collaboration with orchestras from the region. Gilchrist retired from the position in 1913 due to failing health. He passed away on December 20, 1916, to accolades from the musical community. Under his leadership, the society became a musical mainstay of the region, and his musical excellence brought esteem and quality musicianship to Harrisburg and South Central Pennsylvania.